Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Accounting video on how do I export and import customer and supplier accounts. We will be demonstrating on how we can export and import our customer and supplier master files. You will go into your file, export import, and then you choose the function to perform and you can select the option to export customer accounts or export supplier accounts. In this video, we'll select export customer accounts, export file name, we click in there and you select the magnifying glass. You can put in a name for your file, in this case we call it customers.csv, click on save and then once you click on process, it will give you the filter screen where you can select a range of customer accounts that you would like to export. If you would like to export the whole master file, please leave the screen as it is at the moment. Otherwise, you can just go into each field and select the specific range that you would like to export. Click on OK. So it will then show you how many records have been exported in your company and you will find that the exported file will have all the filled names included in the first line because the option was selected. We then look for our file that we have just exported. We open the file to check if there is anything that we need to edit before we import into Pastel. Your file will have all your headings in the first line. Once you are sure that you have edited the file accordingly, you can then save the file and make sure you close it before you import the file again. You can continue adding more customers on the list, account codes and descriptions. If there are any fields that you wish to edit for any current customer files, you can then edit them accordingly in the screen. On your exported file, there are a few columns that you need to take note of. In your Pastel Express package, there are two columns that you need to make sure that you set the value to now since it is not relevant for Pastel Express. Pastel Express does not have the functionality to use the multi-currency module. So if you are using Express and you've got your export file, you need to make sure that column Z, which is your currency code, column Z, you need to make sure that for each line or for each cell, you set the value to null and you do that by putting in the double inverted commas. This you need to do for all the cells that you have in that column. You will also need to do the same for column AN. Column AN in country code, you need to put the double inverted commas, which is a null value to show that this column does not apply to the package that you are working on. This only applies on your Pastel Express package. In the newer versions of Pastel, you will find that you have three new columns that you will see on your exported file. There's column BD, column BE and column BF. These columns need to be set to either a yes or a no. So an N would refer to a no, a Y would refer to a yes. For more details on what these columns are, please refer to our knowledge base articles or the link in the description field of this video. Once you are happy with all the changes that you have made on your exported file, you can then import it back into Pastel. You go into your file export import function again. Under your option to choose a function, this time around you select the option to import customer accounts or import supply accounts depending on the master file that you are working on. In this video, we are working on customers so we select the option to import customer accounts. On your import file name, click on the magnifying glass and then you select the file that you have made changes on. You click on open, deselect the option to map fields and then you can click on process. 
it will tell you all the number of records that have been imported successfully and then you can click on close.